it's one of those afternoons where it's nice for a little bit and then it's cloudy for a little bit and there's a lot of clouds blowing through and then it's clear and bright sunshine for a while and then it's cloudy again and then it rains a little bit and then there's rainbows. It's not exactly peated scotch weather. It's uh, something else. Now, if you've been watching my uh, whiskey reviews or whiskey vlogs in the past, you... What? Oh. I just got distracted there for a moment. If you're familiar with uh, my vlogs and you've been watching closely in the past, you will have noticed that I really like 40 Creek. I like the 40 Creek Barrel Select. I like the 40 Creek Copper Pot. I like the 40 Creek Double Barrel Reserve. But this one is a little more special. This is the 40 Creek Confederation Oak. Now what's so special about this one is well, first of all, it's a fancy tall bottle. It cost $82 at the Strath um, liquor store. And uh, it's aged in some pretty special casks. Now, Canadian whiskey is typically aged in um, American oak barrels, uh, either ex bourbon or, you know, uh, fresh ones from. Kentucky or Tennessee or somewhere like that, somewhere in the States. But um, there, we have the same kind of tree growing in Canada, but because of the weather and because of the climate, they grow more slowly and so the wood becomes more dense. And uh, the whole blurb on the back of the box here is that uh, John Hall, who is the uh, whiskey maker, discovered a stand of um, Canadian American oak trees uh, not 40 miles away from his um, distillery and so since the trees had slowed down their growth and they were mature it was uh, time to harvest them to make room for the new trees that were being planted in this sustainable uh, stand of trees so basically, the trees used to make the barrels that this whiskey was aged in is, uh, is a denser and more flavorful uh, oak because it grew, the, the tree had, it grew more slowly and had a shorter growing season too because, it, you know, our winters are longer here. So um, I have had a taste of this at the last whiskey festival, but I had so many things that I had been tasting that um, especially they had a, what was it, a, a 30 year old, or was it even older, 35 year old rye, which was amazing. But I had this just after it. And so I didn't get to uh, appreciate the subtle nuances because of all the other whiskeys I had tasted at the festival here. It stands alone. I have a clean glass. I have a nice cold water. Cleanse the palate and give her a, a try here. How do you open this one? Where is the little thing you're supposed to grab? I can't see it. They had to make this tricky on me, didn't they? Oh, well. Let's just pull out the knife and uh, see if we can cut our way into that. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Cut right around this one and uh, lift it off. No, oh, come on. Yes, I think I have success. There we are. It's a little plastic. Ooh, that didn't sound right. Huh. Overfilled. 
This thing was filled right up, right up to the very top. Like right up. It was filled so high that it was pushing the cork back out. There, now it's in there, so it didn't pop. It is a plastic cork, by the way. Well, I hope it turned out okay because that was too much whiskey in there. Hmm. I'm not getting much yet. Maybe let it open up a tiny little bit. It's weird. Now it pops. Now it pops. What a very loud pop. Okay. Let's cold our glass again. I'm getting less of a nose than I usually get on Forty Creek. Usually Forty Creek has a stronger nose than this. It does not say, there's no age statement on it, it doesn't say how old it is. Just that they are Canadian barrels that were used. I'm getting just a little bit. Caramel. The caramel and vanilla notes are not as strong as I would have expected from a virgin oak. Now I'm getting <coughs> now I'm getting a little bit of what I call sawdust. Maybe my sniffer is not working too well today. Okay, go for the taste. Maybe I'll smell something after that. Oh, butterscotch. Lots and lots of butterscotch. Yeah. Vanilla. Oh, a lot of vanilla. A lot of butterscotch and vanilla. See if I smell anything now. Curious. And just a little bit of sawdust on the nose. Really coat the glass now. Yeah. Yeah, lots of vanilla, lots and lots of vanilla. More vanilla and less of a caramel toffee. Oh, well, there's a lot of toffee too. That's what it is, toffee rather than just caramel. Toffee, vanilla, toffee and vanilla. Mostly that's what I'm getting. I don't get any spiciness. 
I don't get any. Not very fruity. I don't taste so much the rye and the corn that you would normally get in in a Forty Creek. This is mostly the whiskey has been influenced by the virgin oak barrels quite a bit. Mm. Vanilla toffee. Werther's original. Now I'm getting more of the sawdust. Very smooth. Very, very confectionery. Um, yeah, it's almost milky. It's like, uh, which was the, it's a bit like the same thing I got from the, Tomatin Legacy. If this were peated, it would be a lot like um, our big Oriverdes, but it's not peated and it's not very fruity. It's just you're getting the influence that all is toffee and vanilla. It's strong now. It's strong on the aftertaste. It's lingering. It's lingering a long time. But you know, it's curious that at first you don't get much of a You get a bit of sawdust on the nose. It's not doesn't have a very prominent nose. Yeah, a bit of sawdust. So far, oh, you know what? It, it reminds me a little bit of ninety. And there's a 20-year-old 90 that I almost bought instead of this, but I thought, well, let's see how special this Confederation Oak is from 150-year-old trees from the south of Ontario. Completely Canadian product, this is. Well... I don't know if it's worth $82 with taxes and all. It's nice whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, now it's got that milky vanilla sawdust toffee it's opening up now. It's, it takes a while in the glass. It takes a good 10, 12 minutes in the glass before it really, really. And still, not all that much of a nose, but like I said, my sniffer might be defective. And now, now only now that it's opening up, I'm getting that characteristic rye corn barley forty creek thing but it is it's a strong cask influence very strong uh it's lot eighteen sixty seven dash f because John Hall estimates that these trees started growing around the time of confederation around eighteen sixty seven and then this bottle number is zero one one nine three And um, it was a little strange that it was overfilled like that. Yeah, I'm going to give it a chance to open up a little bit. And as we go down the bottle, I'll, I'll appreciate it. Anyway, to your health. Food Queen. <laughs>
Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>